11th race, 4th, 2004 Burlington Stakes Division, and they're off and pacing. Strong move attempted by Town Champion at the outside. Scalloway Hanover is first to land it on the cones. Sparkler up into the top trio. Osage Hanover sent through into the top four. Racing up in fifth is Groovy Day and Pan's Pacific Flight is sixth on the outside with Reason to Smile, leader by Ama lining up second to last. And Stonebridge Galaxy is the early trailer. Richie Silverman is going to strike front. Town Champion makes the lead from Scalloway Hanover. Unable to find a neat hold with Sparkler. Got to stay out there and drive from third. 27 seconds. Down the back stretch. Town Champion. Sparkler could not get in, so he's got to try to drive to the top. Back to third. Scalloway Hanover and Penn Pacific Flight out almost all the way to the half. Osage Hanover is doubled up in fifth, and John Campbell points him out to the flow, provided by a parked out Penn Pacific Flight. Groovy Day is going to follow third over into the top six. And stacked in the backfield, Reason to Smile, Leader by Yama and Stonebridge Galaxy. 55 and 2 battling on the front end. Uh, taking the lead after a long park out with Sparkler and Pan Pacific Flight is still out there. Town Champion back to third on the inside and Osage Hanover in the optimum second over spot behind a big front end battle. Groovy Day not far away in there from fifth. Moving sixth on the inside coming over to the top of the stretch. That is Reason to Smile and the last pair to turn for home will be Leader by Ama and Stonebridge Galaxy. Pan Pacific Flight on the inside was Sparkler, right there, ready to pound second over Osage Hanover. 123 and 1, 27 and 4. Big third quarter battle. Pan Pacific Flight, totally parked out trip, but Luke Willett has him on the lead in late stretch. Pan Pacific Flight going to prevail as favored in the fourth. Burlington Stakes Division. He goes the wide, wide way, edging past Sparkler. Reason to smile was through for third. 150 and 3. Just an amazing trip for Pan Pacific Flight. Number nine, Penn Pacific Flight was back as the 11th race winner from Mohawk in the fourth Burlington Stakes Division. Three-year-old Bay Colt by the Penderosa from You Can Fly. Owned by the Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trainer Kevin McMaster and driven to victory by Luke Ouellette. Undefeated in two this year. 150 and three, that's a life's mark performance for Penn Pacific Flight in the 11th. But the, the way he did a very impressive parked every step. Yes, he was, you know, um if you look at his lines, you know, if you get him away and he starts pacing at the beginning, you know, he'll go a strong mile. And uh, my main concern was just getting him away from the gate and work, working my way to the front. And unfortunately, he didn't make the front till the 7 8. Uh, looking ahead to next weekend at Woodbine, uh, do you have an inkling as to how you think he'll be on that track? I think he'll be fine. He's a big, strong colt, and uh, he's learning some every week. And, uh, he showed some break at the gate, but uh, we schooled him and we've raced, raced in the last couple of weeks and he's been really good. So that's our main concern there and uh, he's been good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Do you think he's uh, maybe one of the top four or five contenders going in? Well, I, I don't want to jinx him, but uh, let's put it this way. He was parked and I knew I was going to par be parked a whole mile at three eights and uh, I wasn't too nervous about it. All right. Good luck with him next week. Thank you very much. Luke Collette, the winning driver, and uh, Kevin McMaster with me as well, winning conditioner. Kevin, uh, we're very used to seeing you uh, near the top of the standings in the claiming game, for sure, on this circuit. Now uh, with some nice uh, stakes colt in your barn, and uh, next weekend looking forward to your first North America Cup eliminations. Uh, just your thought on, on how he raced tonight and what you were thinking as the race unfolded. I was very pleased with him. Uh, like, I know this, he's a tough horse. He's a very strong horse. I wasn't too concerned when I seen the park because I know I know he'd keep fighting and because uh, he, he, he does he does have a lot of talent, this horse. You have a nice one-two combination. Uh, the Preacher Pan earlier tonight, a little bit disappointing in how the race worked out for him. Um, just, just your assessment of how he did perform tonight. Yeah, I think he come last quarter in 26 and 3, 54 and 3 last half. Uh, he just didn't didn't get in the race, that's all. Um, he, he raced well. And uh, we definitely, um, barring uh, any unforeseen circumstances, we'll see both of them next weekend? Oh, yeah, for sure, yes. Yeah. All right. And uh, personally, uh, it must be exciting to... to uh, have a couple of horses in for this kind of a race. Oh, for sure. This is a big race, and that's quite an honor to be in it for sure. All right. Good luck next weekend. Thanks, Greg. Kevin McMaster, the winning conditioner, Pan's Pacific Flight 150 and 3, wrapping up Burlington action tonight. We'll take another look at the replay. Frank Salive will be by with a look ahead to race 12.